Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business advice. Business advice, advice for salespeople. As a restaurateur, chef, uh, business owner, I've been dealing with salespeople for years upon years. I've been dealing with salespeople for about 20 years where people come into my place of business or where I've worked and solicit business. And some do it much better than others. So I want to talk about just the first basic tip of what I classify as a good salesperson. Um, you have to make it easy for your prospect to buy. You've got to make it so easy, okay? Here's a great example. And we made a mistake on, on our end. We made a very major mistake. And we train our staff so well and just slips through. One of our staff members answered the phone the other day and there was a call for catering. Now, an average catering job for me is $1,400. So it was a catering job. And she, she said, you know, she, she, instead of taking a message, she goes, oh, they'll be in tomorrow. Call them back. And when she told me, she goes, oh, a catering job call today. They're going to call you back tomorrow. I said, well, why didn't you get their information? And she said, well, I told them to call back. They said they would. I was like, oh, that's the worst thing we could possibly do is you can't rely upon people to call back. You have to do everything you possibly can to make it easy for them. Take their number, take their name. They would have probably given it. Most people do. But instead, she says that they're in, they'll be back tomorrow. Call back tomorrow. Well, it's been days now. This person hasn't called back. And I feel like that with my salespeople. You come see me once, a new salesperson or a new company. You come in and see me once, and you never call me back. Granted, I'm not going to buy from everybody who walks my door, but I deal with a lot of small wine companies and bigger wine companies and beer distributors. And I have some beer salesmen, wine salesmen, whatever they are, a food salesmen, they don't make it easy for me to order. They come in, they present their stuff, and they disappear for months upon months. And they think just a random email is enough. Here's a great example. I have one beer company that has phenomenal beer. They send me an email every week. I resp I've responded to them three, four times. I can't open your emails. Please send me a PDF file. For some reason, the program is not jiving. They're, what they do it on, what I open on, it's not jiving. So I get a lot of error messages across. So I just I email them. I say, please send me a PDF. I can't open it. You'd think every week that he would just automatically send me a PDF. Instead, if I want to look at their beer portfolio, I have to email them and say, can you send me a PDF? You're making it harder for the prospect. You're making it harder for me to buy. You're making an extra step. You go to an interview, don't ask them if you want them to provide references. Provide references. Just do it. Make the step easier. Make Get in their face. Do pre, Know their next move. The salesman delivers today and he goes, man, I haven't seen you for like six months. You haven't ordered. And I said, I know because I said I don't see my salesperson. I said I have a ton of great Beer companies, wine companies, spirit companies, food companies. I have a ton of great companies that come in to see me. And I said, they're in my face. If you're not in my face, I can't order. And he goes, well, why'd you order this? Did he come see you? I said, no, your salesman didn't come see me. I said, the brewery was in my face. So when I decided to buy the specific beer, the beer came from your company. But I still haven't even, but I haven't even spoken to the salesman yet. And he's like, really? He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him get him in here. But, you know... It's not a matter of having to get the salesman in here. The salesman is not that type of a salesman. He's not the salesman that is a go-getter and at that level. Or maybe he just thinks I don't, I'm not going to buy enough, so it's not worth his while. I've had salespeople tell me, well, you're not, you don't merit enough for me to drive out to you because we're not, we're not in any metropolis. We're not in any big town. We're out of the way. We're a half an hour out of the way. So sometimes salespeople don't like to drive to us because I might be their only account within a 20-minute distance. So why should they make a trip? I have one guy who comes up from New York City. I have several guys that come up from New York City, which is an hour and a half away. They make a special trip. Their closest place to me is a half an hour that they're going, their, their previous stop. And they come in and they give me the best service, the best possible service. They taste me on wines. They're in my face. They come in with tasting notes. One guy even comes in and says, Marcus, last year you had these couple of wines. And he pulls open his binder and he pulls out my tasting notes. Because if I make a comment, while I'm sitting there tasting, he jots it down. He's making it that much easier for me to buy. So as a salesperson, think of what you can do to make it easier to, to get whoever you're prospecting to buy. It's that simple. Get I tell people, get in my face. Don't be annoying. Don't be some cheesy salesperson. Just get in my face. Call me. Reach out and call me. This beer salesman hasn't reached out to me in over six months. 
There's no excuse for that. Just to send me a weekly email to think that I'm going to buy from you. Of course I'm not going to be a good customer if you're not going to get in my face. If you're not going to do your part of being a salesperson, if you want to be an order taker, that's one thing. There's a lot of salespeople out there that are just order takers. They don't sell. They, they're order takers. They just, they just, you know, they rely upon the people to call in. Those are the people that have the big brands, especially in liquor. The people with Jack Daniels, Absolute, uh, Cuervo, because they don't need to go out and sell Cuervo. They don't need to go out and sell Jack Daniels. Those sell themselves. When it comes to these smaller wineries and smaller distilleries and breweries, You've got to have a salesperson that's on top of it. What type of business are you in? What type? What? So whatever you're selling out there, I don't know what it is, but whatever you're selling, you have to figure out how can I be a better salesperson? How can I get in the face and not annoy? What can I do that's above and beyond? What is the next step How that I have to anticipate my buyer? What is my buyer looking for? There's so many things to be a better salesperson. My number one tip is get in my face. Years ago, there was a big, bigger wine company that the guy, the guy was coming to see me, and then all of a sudden he just stopped. And he really didn't see me. He just came in and left me all these wines and did a tasting. And never, never really got on a regular schedule. So I, them, I said to him, I said, salesperson, I said, I need to speak to you once a month on the phone, and I need you to come see me every three months, which is not unrealistic at all. And I said, or else I'm going to have to get a new salesperson. I said, you're not doing your job. I was very nice to him. Nine months later, I called him and I said, salesperson, I haven't spoke to you once in nine months. He goes, I know, and started making excuses. I said, do you know what that means? He goes, uh, I said, I'm calling to get a new salesperson. Nine months, the guy couldn't call me after I had spoken to him. I said, salesperson, we have a problem. We're not communicating. I can't chase you down. I like the products you have, but I can't chase you down to try to give you an order, and you can't just totally ignore me. I thought that was going to work. I had the conversation, and it didn't. So I don't want to let this video run on and run on, because I can go on and on about so many bad salespeople I've had, and so many great salespeople I've had, um, like the guy from um, Gary Olson from Artisanal Wines, who he, he knows what I had a year ago. He pulls out the notes, and he's like, it's, it's amazing. So a shout out to Gary from Artisanal Wines. Great, great salesperson. There's the guy Nick from Rad Grapes shows up. Small company. He's the owner. He comes in and he pays such good attention to me. I'm a small account compared to who he's other places he's selling to, but he pays attention to me. Not often. Every two months he's in. And I have other guys that are in my face every week, and I buy. They show up, I buy. It's that simple. You're in my face, I buy. Out of sight, out of mind. In my business, there's too many options. There's too many salespeople, and out of sight, out of mind. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Those are my, that's my number one tip for salespeople. Get in your customer's face and anticipate their next move. Don't annoy them, but anticipate their next move. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely get over to 50mistakes.com. 50mistakes.com is my cyber coaching website for restaurants. Uh, and really, any kind of business can log on over there and see what's happening over there and get a lot of useful information. 50mistakes.com, F-I-F-T-Y, mistakes.com. Thanks for tuning in.